Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the movie. Uh, any questions? I will try to answer the questions for you. Well, first of all, thank you so much for bringing your film to New Fest and right. sharing it with, with New York. We're really happy to have you. Like this film had a warrior in the king tied out in Hindi and we had some issues with it and then we tried to make it in the Tamil language which is unusual for that part of the country because not too many movies are made in uh, with PA teams in that society. Okay. Uh, we were very fortunate that we found uh, Manu Kumar as our backer and she's a very good lady as Lakshmi and she's a very, uh, she's a leading lady in a lot of other movies too and so we were very lucky in that case. And she really delivers an incredible performance. And as a matter of fact, her sister, Niru Kumar, is here. I see somebody in the back has a question. Yes, go ahead. Yes, I was just wondering why during certain conversations, is, is it that in, uh, some of the sentences are in English and some are in the other language? Is it? In uh, Tamil. Yeah. Okay. Why would, why would some, there be a conversation where you talk one sentence or a couple sentences in English or a couple? Well, it's like uh, in our generation, people speak in English. So it's like Hindi, English, or Tamil, English. So people are constantly switching back and forth. So that's what we were trying to show that people are very normal person. It's not just a Tamil all the time. Any movie from India, Bollywood, uh, uh, from uh, India, they all interact with us. Sometimes they will speak in English, just like my kid at home. They know that they have to speak Hindi at home, but they will switch them back and forth when they're talking to their grandmother. Just like in okay. Spanish-speaking households as well, it happens all the time. Yes, Correct. thank you. Yes. can be applicable, applicable in any society. Okay, not many mother or parents will accept the, their son being gay. And not only that, the question is that the society will accept it. And if you pay, if you watch the movie carefully, in the end, it's left hanging whether she accepted it or not. Okay, you saw her walking away from there, but she never said that she accepted her son. Okay, that's the mother thing. Uh, for having a kid uh, with the boys, that's every parent's dream that uh, their son should marry a beautiful girl, have care so that uh, parents uh, can play with the grandchildren. It, that's the, and again, you talked about surrogate parents. In India, still not that advanced yet. First of all, they have to accept the fact that two gay men are living together. Segregation is a separate issue. It will take time for them to understand. In short, in big society, it does happen. When you're talking about rural area, it's very difficult for people to accept that. And that's the problem with the society in India or any other place too. And right now what's happening in India is um, the, the uh, prop, or Section 377 right. is going on. So why don't we talk a little bit about okay. that? Okay, uh, in 2012, India's 
court said that uh, the 277 is still applicable. That law uh, outlawed the homosexuality, or sorry, uh, reinforced the thing that homosexuality is banned in India, and that law was done sometime in 1870 when the British people were ruling it. So there, that case is going to go, uh, go to the court again sometime this year, and we still don't know the outcome outcome of that thing. But still, people in big society, sure, it's accepted. We do have a lot of gay pride days in Bombay, Mumbai, uh, Delhi, in the uh, Chennai, Pune, uh, Gujarat. These are the big cities where these uh, parade pride days happen. And as a matter of fact, we have a very well-known one of the prints who came out uh, in 2012 as the gay prince, so we call him as a gay prince. His actual prince, and he married a person from uh, Seattle area, and he gave him the title as Duke. So, okay, because they have to marry a royalty. <laughs> okay, but they are very well known, and uh, they are very supportive of this uh, organization. They do have, uh, they help with the LBG people there. So it's very well known. Uh, did I answer your question? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, no. I think there's somebody there trying to raise uh, hand. Uh, sorry, yeah, I wanted to ask you if you are able to show this film in, in a big city, like you mentioned, like in Mumbai. Okay. And they, and they say it against the law to show films no. like this. No, uh, we are in the process of getting the censorship passed. Once it's passed, then it is a commercial movie that will be shown in the theater. Uh, we have already sold the rights to our movie to the distributors. So technically, it's a distributor's movie right now. That's great. Okay. okay. And where have you screened so far? Okay, we had our premiere in uh, Melbourne in August 2017. That was our world premiere and it was well received. I uh, hope you all like this movie and try to give us a positive feedback on our Facebook or our hashtag uh, my son is gay or M hashtag MSI, MSIG. Um, like I said, people are anxiously waiting to hear from us uh, as soon as we are over. Uh, people are recording it. We are supposed to send them the videos to them so they can be very happy and why is uh, waiting to hear our comments too. Can you tell us a little bit about Lokesh, the director? This okay. is his first feature, a very bold choice. Uh, Lokesh, I, as a matter of fact, I'm just supposed to be the co-producer. I have not seen this script till I saw the movie in my small screen. I have not seen the script. I never met Lokesh as of right now or any of the casting. Everything was done through the Facebook account. Uh, one of my friends approached me, and when Lokesh was uh, at that time 22 years old, so he's not like a very adult person. He had done few movies, uh, mostly for the um, like uh, film festivals. Like uh, one of his movie was the Acid Attack. Uh, you may have heard a lot of times. Uh, the other movie that he had done was on the uh, on the honor killing, that's very uh, common things in India or in uh, Muslim society where if we dishonor your family, they kill the kids. They don't care about whether it's your kid or somebody else's kid. So he had done a few movies like this and then he approached me with this movie and without knowing anything about the movie, all he told me that, Anil, just trust me. I'll make you very happy. And I'm very happy to this. <laughs> I know that distribution in film houses is important, but it seems to me that the real importance for this movie would be for it to be able to get on mass media, like on television, that would reach the small villages and reach places where people maybe don't have the money. I don't know how Bollywood works, but at least in this country, something that would be on, say, network television would reach a mass audience much more than any film distribution would. Is that likely to happen in India? Okay. Like I said, said it earlier, this movie started, we started shooting in 2013 in Hindi. The day we signed Anupam Kumar as our leading lady, 
we have been in every single leading newspaper in India. So we have been covered into those newspapers. And also, Lokesh and Anukmaji has been in the radio and TV interviews uh, so many times, uh, countless times. So we have been covered very extensively. And again, by coming to the United States was also a, is being covered in other newspaper in India is watching us too at this time. And okay, this that answers your question. It will be shown once we pass the uh, sensor board. Like I said, it's going to be shown in Tamil language and they are also planning to dub it in Hindi so it can be shown to the mass general people in India. Great, and now that it's played here in New York, it will go on to play all over the country. And uh, one, of the, the one of the leading uh, newspaper article, um, newspaper in UK said that this is a film that can be shown in any film festivals in the, in the world. It's certainly very accessible, and I felt <laughs> deeply moved by right. I saw it on TV, uh, in my small screen, and so many times I was very emotional the way mm -hmm. um, the Anupmaji uh, talk about to each other and the Varun. Their two actings were superb. It's like very emotional. And luckily, I didn't bring any tissue, but I would have been crying in the back. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? Yes. Uh, yeah, so I have a quick question. So, uh, so I'm also I'm from Tamil Nadu. Mm -hmm. So I would get come out of my family. So is there any possibility of this movie releasing in YouTube, say? Even at a price that I think would essentially smooth out my coming out process, and I think it would certainly help me when I help my mom, I mean, I and my dad, my entire family, right. the whole society is going to unburn, sort of, so to speak. So I think if it was to be released in YouTube, for example, even at a price, I think I would certainly benefit from a very selfish okay. perspective. This movie is already sold to the distributor, it's up to them to show it in YouTube, but I'm sure they want to show it in the commercial theaters before they release it on YouTube. I'm sure there will be some pirated copy coming out tomorrow morning. <laughs> but that I cannot prevent it. Can you tell us if you have plans to collaborate with Lokesh again? Uh, Lokesh is writing some more um, scripts. And we, it's, this is not just the one time deal. And I will be collaborating with him again and again. And hopefully when I go to India in January, I'll be meeting the whole team personally. Very okay. good. Let's, I think we have time for one more question, so let's go back to the audience here. Yes, go ahead. Um, your director of photography did an absolutely wonderful job. Thank you. Um, it was visually beautiful. Where was most of this shot around? Most of these were shot in Kerala on the west side of the India. And as a matter of fact, most of the crew members were all budding stars. So they are not a professional people. Some of them, as they did a hobby, the music directors and all these people just pitched in all their talent and everything because they all believed in this cause. So most of these people did not get any money for working in this film. They just donated their talent. Okay, I'd like to thank all my crew and staff and the actors and actors in this movie. So thanks for making this movie so great. And thank you for sharing it with us. Thanks for letting us come over here.